Welcome back to Hoochos. Today on Hoochos, we're gonna be unboxing, par testing and reviewing this. This is the Bestfa BAT W200 Full Spectrum Grow Light. Okay, so I'm gonna need a bigger area to unbox this light. Okay, so in the box, we have manual, American cord, four hangers, Australian adapter, and a daisy chain cord, as well as the light itself. We have the driver, and that will just mount on top of the light, I assume. And the LED bars, no assembly required. How good. Look at that. Very cool. <laughs> that was the easiest bar light out of the box I think I've ever assembled. And that will just, look at that. Okay, so let's get to discussing some of the features of the light. This is the BATW200 LED grow light. It is a full spectrum grow light, so it covers the entirety of a grow from start to finish, and it covers a three by three grow area. It is a dimmable light, and it is dimmed in two main ways. The first is it has a switch, which you turn to dim from zero to 100, and the other is through the smart app functionality within the device. The LED bars make it a champion of multi-point lights so that you get really nice canopy penetration. And the bars are covered in Samsung diodes. The diodes are covered in a silicon coating which makes this light IP65 rated. The light claims to have a PPE efficacy of 2.9 micromoles per joule, and the light comes with a three year warranty. All right, let's power up the light and just have a quick look at the smart control. Now there are actually three ways to control the dimmable function on this light, and that is through the use of a controller and a daisy chain, the dimmable control on the front of the light itself, which allows you to do it manually from zero to 100. And then you also have the smart app. So I'll go ahead and turn the light on. Oof, that is bright. Whoa. So you can see it's flashing now, and that means it is able to be connected to the app. You can see here we have a device to be added. So that is the best for light, and it just popped up straight away on the app. Now, once in this mode, you'll get a few options. You'll get a timer option as well as a light on off. The timer option allows you to set on off times so you can schedule your lighting. And you also have a remote on off switch so you can control your light from anywhere. So it's now time to test the light. So I'm going to hang it up in a three by three grow area and we'll test the efficacy of this grow light. So I'm going to put some tape on our bars, our driver, and we'll test the temperature after it's been running for the entire par test. This will give us an indication of how well it's handling heat. And I'm going to hang it at the recommended hanging heights of 12 inches and 18 inches. So I've added on one for the PAR sensor and I'm at 19 inches. Okay, so let's have a look at the heat on the light. The outside bar is 99, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 37.8 degrees Celsius. I can leave my hand on that, that's not even hot. On the middle bar, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees Celsius. And on the driver, it's not even heating up. 86 degrees Fahrenheit uh, and 30 degrees Celsius. So it is really cool. I'd say that this is going to be extremely efficient. So from the wall, we're pulling 192 watts. Okay, so I've got the results here and I've got to say they're bloody exciting. At our 18 inches, here is our palm up. Our average for that palm up was 
379 across the board. So we times that by one because it's a one square meter area. It's slightly larger than the recommended three by three, but that is what my test area is. So one by one. And we divide that by 192, which was the watt draw from the wall. We get an efficacy of 1.97. Now this is for the 18 inch height. For the 12 inch height, however, here is our palm up. Our average across that palm up is 454. We times that by one square meter and then divide it by the watt draw again, 192. We get 2.36. 2.36 is a fantastic efficacy. And I think this is testament to the light's design. You have to remember that this is a 200 watt light the components are being spread out across what would normally be a 300 or 400 watt light, but because the components are spread out and allowed to breathe, they're not getting too hot, you are getting a really high efficacy with this light. As far as I can tell for pricing, you're looking at about 200 US, which is about 270 Australian. So a dollar US per watt, and I can see this light lasting a long time purely because it is running so cool. The efficacy is high because it's not outputting a ton of heat, which is wasted energy. So if you're looking for an efficient light that puts out good power, but saves money on your energy costs, this is probably the light for you. Vesper have been putting out a heap of quality build lights lately, and this is another one of them. Happy hydroponicking, and I'll see you next time on who chose.